Hi students, welcome back to Google Classroom of Sri Gogulam Public School Gurivayu. I am Jessia here, your social science teacher. I hope all of you are fine. The last section we discussed about different types of igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Hope everybody learned that portion. You all performed very well in the test paper. Today we will discuss about various uses of rocks and rock cycle. Let me ask a question. Have you ever played with the stones? Sometimes, right? We use rocks for various purposes like making rods, houses, buildings, etc. Look at this picture. This is the picture of Red Fort. Do you know where it is located? Yes, it is located in Delhi. Red Fort is made up of red sandstone. Which type of rock is red sandstone? Yes, it is a sedimentary rock. The next one is Taj Mahal. It is made up of white marble. Which type of rock is marble? Yes, it is a metamorphic rock. Like that, you can collect the pictures of some monuments and find out which are the rocks used to build them. Then, what are the other uses of rocks? Rocks are made up of different types of minerals. So, what are minerals? Minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and definite chemical composition. For example, coal, petroleum, iron, gold, etc. That means all these type of minerals we get from rocks and it is very important to us because some minerals are used as fuels. For example, coal, natural gas, petroleum, etc. Some minerals are used in industries. For example, iron, aluminium, gold, etc. Let's point out the main features of rocks. Hard rocks are used in construction of buildings and rods. Some rocks are very shiny and precious, therefore used for making jewelry. Rocks are made up of different minerals and are very important to us. Some are used as fuels. Soft rocks are used for making talcum powder, chalks, etc. These are the various uses of rocks. Now, let's discuss about rock cycle. What is rock cycle? It means one type of rock changes into another type under certain conditions in a cyclic manner. This process of transformation of rock from one to another is known as rock cycle. Look at this picture. This is the picture of rock cycle. Here you can see when the molten magma cools down then it solidifies and to become igneous rocks. These igneous rocks are broken down into small particles. These particles are called sediments. These sediments are transported and deposited by wind, water, etc. Then it transforms into sedimentary rocks. When the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure, they change into metamorphic rocks. The metamorphic rocks which are still under great heat and pressure. Then it melts down and it again transforms into molten magma. This molten magma again can cool down and solidify into igneous rocks. This process we can call rock cycle. Let's conclude today's section by recounting all the concepts. Today we discussed about 
various uses of rocks and rock cycle. What are the uses of rocks? Yes, rocks are used in various purposes. Hard rocks are used in construction of rods and buildings. Some rocks are very shiny and precious. Therefore, it is used for making jewelries. Some are used as fuels. And at the same time, rocks are made up of different minerals. And it is very important to us. Then we discuss it about rock cycle. What is rock cycle? It means one type of rock changes into another type under certain conditions in a cyclic manner. This process of transformation of rock from one to another is known as rock cycle. I hope all of you understood the concept clearly. Children, please note that the related URLs, notes of the lesson and the test paper are also attached along with the class. Make use of these available materials. Study well and attend the test paper without fail. That's all for today. Thank you.